Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to put comments on your live stream using Phoenix Social. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. Just first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Links are in the description, or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button below. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do you do those cool comments and stuff like that that you do during your Q&A? That is all a part of of vmix they when you get vmix another awesome streaming platform we've been we did another um, tutorial that i'll link up here above um, it comes with an application called vmix social which links to given platforms and pulls in the comments from your live stream and you can put them on some graphics so that you can integrate them inside of whatever you're doing on your stream, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and cut over to my system and we'll see how everything works. All right, so this is my streaming system that I just have some stuff um, set up right now. I have my camcorder hooked up to it and that's got some music looping and I'm actually streaming right now so I can capture all this. Um, now, the really awesome thing about this is, let, let's do some prep work first. Um, let's open up vmix social here first now the program is really straightforward But let me just go ahead and give a tip right now If you ever have any issue where it says it's not connected you need to have enabled web controls um, On for this to work. So all you got to do is go to settings here go to web controller and make sure that is enabled You need that so that it can communicate all right, so let's take a little tour of this thing. You have five platforms natively supported um, that you can pull in comments from a stream. That's Twitch, Facebook. Now, I will mention before I go any further, Facebook, these are pages. Um, they have some issues going to groups. I have not been able to get this to work with groups. So if you have like a public page for your ministry, this will work. It has to be public. It cannot be private. Um, that's another issue with that. Um, you also have Twitch, YouTube, and IRC. I always use YouTube, and that's what we're going to use with this. Um, you also, it pulls the IP address and sets up a web page based on your computer's IP address um, that you can look at and control this stuff from any platform that you choose. So if you hit view, it will open up a little window to where you can see if you had multiple platforms on, let me move this out of the way of my picture in picture, that if you had multiple platforms that you were using, that you were pulling in comments, it would show you what platform they're at. If there's a photo for the person who did it, their profile, it'll pull that. It'll say the name of the person who left the, um, left the message, the actual message, and the time that they left it. We're going to be using this page um, later on once we get everything linked together, but this is how you can control when messages come up and things like that. Title, we're going to get to that in a second. Overlay, this is how you're going to display the image. If you don't do this as an overlay, it's going to take over the entire screen. And again, we're trying to add comments over top of live stuff, and that's where you're going to use your overlay. Now, depending on what version of vMix that you have, um, you are limited on overlays. I have the HD version, so I only have four overlays, and I have mine set at three. Um, I do a lot of stuff with my stuff, so that's how I have mine. So if I ever bring up a comment, it's going to activate layer number three and put it there. Now, you also have automatic update title and most recent entries. I keep that there so it automatically, after a certain period of time, will refresh and search for new comments if anybody leaves anymore. So that's a good option to leave on. Um, and also, this will, what that actually will also do is post the um, new comments automatically without you having to do anything. 
this could be a good thing at the very beginning, but just be mindful of some, if you got hecklers on there posting nonsense, this will post their stuff. So it depends on when you're using this. So if you say you are doing this for a sermon, somebody's preaching or a choir singing, um, and people are doing comments, Hey, you might want to be automatic. Know your audience. If you know people are prone to do some nonsense, you might not want to have this on. I always turn this on for at the beginning of my live streams um, while people are gathering before I go live. But once I go live, I turn this off because I want to have more manual control when I'm bringing up comments. All right. So if you had this set to automatic, this would tell you how long that comment is going to stay up before it tries to go to the next one. Um, how many rotations? You can set that. Um, do you want to only do queued entries? We'll show you how that means, how that works. That means if you have a whole bunch of items, um, you can say, I don't care if I have a whole bunch of people, you can, this is what you can turn on to stop. If you have hecklers going in there, this will, um, inside this webpage, when somebody has a comment, you can right click on it and then send it to a queue that, you know, that's somebody else looking at it to make sure these are cool. And then they would automatically post. So you could do that as well too. And then also the last checkbox you have is repeat entries to where it'll go through your queue list and then just repeat them again if you want to. That's up to you. So I'm going to turn these off right now. Then you also, do you want to limit the text? So if you have run on sentences or whatever, you want to make sure it fits inside of that um, comment. Um, I normally have this at 300. I might want to play around with this. I don't know. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of this other stuff, you can do to view the log if you want to. Um, if you have some issues with it, um, you can edit the title mappings. Um, I don't really have anything linked to that, so I can't do that right now. And then you can refresh your title. Now, let's connect to our stream. Like I said, I'm streaming right now. And how we're going to do this is click on, for me, I'm going to connect this to YouTube. I'm going to click on the YouTube link right here. And then it's going to bring up my current or future live streams. Um, you can't go back and do one that hasn't already existed and you can't kick off a stream here. You need to launch a stream first. And this just happens to be the one that I have. Um, I can pick any of these. So these are my future um, Q and A's with AJ, but I'm going to use this one because I set this up for this video. So let's go ahead and click OK. All right. So now we're linked, but hey, nothing is going on. Now we need to click the on button and now we are pulling in our comments. And as you can see, we have four because this is what I've made. So if I come back over here now, I can see these are all the comments that I posted on here for this um, tutorial. Um, so like I was going back before, if we were doing the queue, see we would click on this comment and now we can add it to a queue here or we can send it and that's how you can bring it up. Now I'm gonna need to come back because we need some more stuff for this to work. All right, we got all this, but how is it gonna be displayed? We need to add a title in vMix and that is what it's gonna use here to send all the text and information from your comment into a title so it can be used on our stream. So let's go to our add import. We're going to go to titles and me personally, I use the GT social ones because they're kind of formatted for this anyway, pick whichever one you want. And I, um, I honestly, for the live stream, I use this one, but I'm gonna pick something different. I'll use, uh, this one here. All right. All this stuff you don't really have to worry about because it's already linked in to the social boom. And as you can see, it picked up the most, um, <laughs> current title, um, that you can use. Now, if I had multiple ones, you could pick that, but I only have one. So that's fine. So now that we have all this set up, let's go back over here to our um, list of comments. Let's shrink this down so we can see everything at the same time. And I'm going to come over here. Not first. Let's go here and set it to automatic and let's see what happens.
boom. So now it's going to, every 15 seconds, it's going to start going through. And this vMix Social pulled in the text, all the information, sent it over to this title, and now put it as an overlay number three over top of our stream. It's pulling the profile picture, um, the comment, who did it, and what their message is. And it just goes straight forward. Now let's say, let's clear this out, and let's say we're going to do queued entries only. So let me turn this off and let's go back in here and say, I only want to cue um, this one and I'll do this one. So now it's only going to pull those. So if I go to view queue, now you see these are the ones that we've authorized to go through. And those are the only ones that are going to show up. So that gives you the ability to have everybody's comments automatically come in, but then now you have somebody that's handpicking which ones you want to show up, which is kind of cool as well. All right, so let's go ahead and clear the queue, and we're gonna view all. And let's turn this off in automatic off. And again, of course, if that was off itself, now you can just handpick whichever one you want and then just send it directly and that automatically will engage that comment to show up. Really, really simple, really powerful. So example, um, you could, you know, say somebody, you're pulling in a comment and there's a, um, a song being sung, and you can bring up a comment to get some interaction with whoever's watching, or say that people are really into the message or whoever is preaching, and then you can maybe set it to automatic if you know your audience, or you can just set it to automatic in queue and then start selectively um, picking the comments that you want to go through, and then that's it. But that is how I do my stuff, and like I said, I use this for Q&A um, when people ask questions, and it makes it really simple and really engaging to where now everyone can see the question that I was talking about and it brings more people in um, really interactive and stuff like that. So you can actually have a dialogue back and forth just like we do on our Q and A's with AJ on Friday. So hopefully um, that answers any questions. I had timestamps in here so you can always jump back if any particular part that you want to revisit in there and again i say check it out vmix is very powerful i like the fact that this is built in and hey it just works just be mindful that it does not work um i haven't gotten it to work with facebook groups for pulling in comments and live streams that way i don't know maybe they're gonna work on that i it, i haven't, <laughs> haven't been able to get it to work but anyway i hope that helps you for those who wanted to know how it works vmix social um, you can, there's a link in the description if you want to get vMix. And like I said, this comes with any of the versions, unless they change something I didn't know about <laughs> in the last, um, 30 minutes. But anyway, check that out. You can always sign up for a free 60 day tutorial to get you full access to everything and play around with it if you like. So that's about it. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and i want to thank the patrons and youtube members for making this video possible their names are on the screen right now and you too can become a patron for as little as one dollar a month or a youtube member for as little as 4.99 a month no matter what platform you pick just realize that you are helping us train media ministries all over the world thanks for watching folks this is aj and we will see you on the next video later